What? <laughs> what is it? Did you poop? Sorry, did you poop? Um, no, you didn't. Yeah, and you just pooped, didn't you? Anyways, we are here to talk about this angel care baby bath support. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay if you don't like it. Mommy likes it, okay? That's all that matters. <laughs> from the bathroom, specifically the bathtub. Why, you ask? Because we are doing a product review on the Angel Care Bath Support. So if you're wondering whether you should put this item on your baby registry or whether it's worth your money, then keep on watching. Here's my mommy. Hi. First off, congratulations if you are watching this video because you are expecting what an exciting time for you and your family. Truly, I'm so excited for you. I felt like a kid in an amusement park when I first started building my registry because companies are so good at marketing to people, especially, especially new moms. They show you babies that, first off, smile. <laughs> I looked this up. Babies don't start smiling socially till eight to six months. Uh, till six to eight months. Anything before that is reflexive. Anything before that, it's either mm, I'm pooping or mm, I'm sleeping. So I don't know how they captured a photo like that. Second of all, they show you really, really clean spaces with these products. And let me tell you, when you have a newborn, your house is not gonna be looking like that. Your house is gonna be looking like, mm, like this. <laughs> yes, this is the only clean corner I can find in my house to record this video. <laughs> so you're welcome. Anyways, those are just my two cents on building your registry. Be careful. Watch out and watch these reviews. Oh. Can we review this product, please? Can we talk about this product? Oh. I think you enjoyed the product. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right here. Anyways, we are here today to talk about this Angel Care Baby Bath Support. Here is the product. Ta-da, ta-da, mm-mm. And this is the bath accessory I ultimately put on Zoe's baby registry. When you're building a registry, it's really important for you to figure out what is most important to you. And the three most important things to me were one, price, two, size, and three, aesthetics. Price because obviously I didn't want my family and friends to be breaking their wallet just to buy me something that Zoe might use for the next one to two years of her life. And then two, size because we live in a small town home and I don't got that much space for storage so I didn't want a bunch of bulky items that once she turns two and doesn't use them anymore I was gonna have to figure out a place to put them and then three aesthetics because baby items when you start doing your research and start looking at them are all so colorful <gasps> they're all so colorful and it's really hard to find things that are neutral and that is typically what our places consist of. So I just wanted things that are white, gray, natural, neutral tones. And obviously I went for the gray one because my bathroom is literally 50 shades of gray. <laughs> so this product, the Angel Care Bath Support, fit all three of my criteria. On paper, it costs between $20 to $25, depending on what color you choose. I believe the pink and the blue ones are more expensive than the gray one. It's really lightweight, about 1.65 pounds, I think that's what it says on the internet. And you can even hang it up on the wall with a command strip hook to save you room. So this product just makes sense, right? It looks really promising. And I watched a lot of other product reviews which included this item in their baby essential video. Ah, the power of affiliate marketing. Now, the mistake I made when considering this product was that I equated the words bath support to bathtub. In my imagination, this would be all I needed to bath my baby. And if you want a bathtub, yes, this would be all you need to bath your baby. But I have forgotten that a year ago, my husband and I decided to flip our bathroom 
and we got it out of the bathtub and replaced it with a stand-up shower stall. You see what I mean by 50 shades of gray? <laughs> so when I bought this bath support into my shower stall, I realized that my baby would probably freeze to death if I tried bathing her in this bath support. There was no way we could fill our stall up with enough water to surround her. So make sure you have a bathtub if you end up purchasing this item. I will say though, although we did not use this item in the shower, it was useful outside of the shower a couple times just as a chair or a supporter in general. I read reviews from other moms who said that it's also super useful at the beach so the baby has a place to sit with the family and the sand comes right off when you lift it up. Wow. Wow, what a game changer. We ended up going over to my in-laws house one day and I brought this bath support with me to try it out. I will say my first thought when I started filling up the bathtub with water was Wow, this is pretty wasteful. I had to fill up this giant bathtub full of water just so my tiny little baby can be immersed in water from below her neckline. Something you can possibly try to make this more eco-friendly may be to bath your baby in a sink. But I'm not so sure that everyone has such a big sink. A feature that I found very useful on this item is the handle on the side, which makes it super easy for you to pick up and move around despite the fact that it's kind of a bulky item. Oh, and another thing to mention, I read some reviews that said the product doesn't stay down while you fill the bathtub up, but that wasn't an issue when I tried. The bath support remained on the floor of the tub and appeared very sturdy. Now I will say the name of this product lives up to what it does for you. Since we don't have a bathtub at home, we typically use a toddler tub. It's super common, probably the first thing that pops up on Amazon if you search baby bathtub. And since Zoe didn't have full head control back in the days, we really had to support her while squatting down in the shower. And man, that's not the most comfortable position to be in. Also really bad for your back. So with this product being a bath support, it really does support the baby. Look at her laying so comfortably in it. Also, the mesh looking part is made with softer and more elastic -y material. So it seems generally safe for her to shift her head around. Since the baby is immersed in water from her neck down, you pretty much have to hold them up to scrub soap all over their body, which is to be expected. And I'm sure this process is probably totally different if Zoe was younger or if she was older and had more head control. Once you're done, all you have to do is shake it around and hang it up for it to dry. Easy peasy cleanup. And that was basically our experience with the product. I think the most important thing is to make sure, one, you have a bathtub or a sink that's big enough for this product. Two, that you don't mind wasting a lot of water to bath your baby. I mean, I guess it might just be smart to shower with your baby at that point because you're also basically taking a bath with them. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you're having a great day, staying safe out there, staying healthy. Actually, no. Don't stay out there. Stay in your house. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.